The Fairburn brothers are detectives in London investigating the death of a young woman. In blood, these two cops take the prime suspect who's just not talking out to the wilderness to, well, use old school tactics and the suspect ends up dead. Now we've got two cops with accidental murder over their heads and the film becomes not just about how they're going to escape, how they're going to cover up their crime, but how the guilt of what they've done begins to destroy them. Now this film just doesn't skip ahead to the murder. It takes us time to show us the lives of our detectives to really sink in the impact of that guilt over what they've done. At the beginning, we see them dealing with this case and also with their father, who is a former bad cop himself, who now has dementia. We also see their interaction with another detective who's the best on the force. So when this other detective begins to suspect what has happened, that just adds into the tension and adds into the drama. And then you have a father who can and cannot recall what his sons may or may not have done. What makes this story compelling is the outstanding level of acting throughout the cast. Our two main characters show us different ways someone can just be torn apart, shredded by guilt, and the different ways they may try to cover it up, accept it, or come to terms with it, and it's different in each performance. But it's also about the rest of the cast, the family members, the different police officers being affected by our two main characters just destroying themselves. You can not go into blood thinking this is a suspenseful action-packed thriller. It's just not that film. But if you're looking for a realistic thriller that takes a hard look at two police officers committing murder and what it would do to them, not in just trying to cover it up, but what the guilt would do inside of them with excellent performances showing what would happen, then blood is the movie for you.